So I keep getting this question almost every now and then about the best uh, way to study for the US MLE. Um, so in this video, I'm going to address uh, just that. So just a brief overview, the US MLE is the, the abbreviation for the United States Medical License Exam, which is required um, by um, all the doctors who want to practice in America. So um, let me take some time to introduce myself. My name is Jerry. I am a 2019 uh, international medical graduate and I live in Texas in the United States. And I'm, a, uh, I'm applying for a residency uh, in internal medicine uh, for next year, 2023, March. So that's it. And I've written the USMLE step one and step two. And I'm here to share with you all um, how to um, study for the USMLE. So, um, let's go straight into the purpose of, of this video. Um, so, uh, several people will tell you different things that worked for them. Um, so, as you go also um, along the way, you will notice like certain things that work for you. Um, it might work for someone, it might, might not work for some people. There are certain things that subconsciously also help you that you might not take note of. So, um, there's no like fixed way of studying, but there is some general way and I'll share my experience in this video. So if you haven't subscribed yet, kindly subscribe and share this video with uh, people. And so the first thing I'll talk about in this video is you getting your timeline right. Uh, which of the residency um, seasons do you want to apply to? Um, you want to apply to like 2024, 2025, 2023. So it's all up to you. So you have to get your timeline right. You have to know when to write step one, like you have to have a concrete plan when to write step one and when you want to write step two so that you can be ready for the time, uh, the match period that you want. So it's very important to get your timeline plan well and stay consistent to it. Uh, many people are not consistent, that's why they are unable to meet the timeline. And when you miss one year, it adds to your, um, your year of uh, graduation or educational gap as they see it and it can affect you. Uh, uh, residency application negatively so um, that is something you want to get right now let's talk about materials you need to also get very good material there are some standardized materials um, so first of all I want to talk about the UWorld um, first aid and then pathoma these are the basic um, materials that you need so um, right when you start you want to do UWorld questions and um, also you want to do pathoma vi uh, videos and watch pathoma and understand the basic pathology and then the complex pathology that is needed for um, the USMLE. And um, also, uh, we also have the first aid. First aid is called, uh, it's what we call the Bible. It's, uh, it's a summary of uh, all the information that you need to pass the USMLE. So we have the first aid, we have for step one, step two, and also step three. Um, so because the first aid is kind of compact, it's compacted, uh, you need like other lecture videos to decode it. And some people use uh, Boss and Beyond, which I recommend, and then I, that's what I used. And so I would um, read the first aid with Boss and Beyond as the Boss and Beyond videos are playing. And I'm also looking into the first aid for reference and making annotations in it. So that's very, uh, very important. Um, so these are the basic materials. There may be other materials like Kaplan, uh, Dr. Najib videos are all there, but the standard ones are what I just mentioned. Um, you must also um, have a, a good uh, study plan. Like uh, for me, I started right away doing UWorld uh, questions, which didn't come easy. Um, first, uh, first, like it takes time to get used to the UWorld style questions. It takes time for you to be able to do the questions within um, like an hour or if you are doing 40 questions it takes time but with consistency you get used to it and build your stamina also and also in, in, uh, also implemented uh, flashcards which were very important like if i miss any question i'll make sure i make i make a flashcard out of it and also i will go into lecture videos to read more about it and one thing that i also want you to do is if you get any question wrong you still want to um even though like you want to read more about it um don't just take your explanation as enough you want to watch videos on it if um let's say you are doing a question and the answer choices are a to d 
and the correct answer is A, you still want to find the reason why the rest of the choices are incorrect and you also want to ask yourself under what situation would they be correct because they can also be answers to different questions in the future. So that is something that you really want to uh, implement. Now, the most important thing for me is called consistency. You need to be very consistent um, in your studies. You need to make sure that you study almost every day. Don't leave a lot of gap because you're going to forget all that you have studied. Um, so it's a very important thing to me. And if you want to work within your timeline that you've chosen for yourself, then you want to be consistent in your studies. Make sure uh, to read every day if possible, but don't leave uh, like a week without studying, you know. And you want to also take breaks, like it should be reasonable. Don't take very long breaks, you know, else you come back and uh, you have to like start everything. You are going to lose the morale. And um, one important thing also is that um, I um, uh, included study partner in my studies from day one. Uh, my study partners uh, have been very, very helpful. Um, so that's something you want to do because there are some times that you need a different idea, you need a different view of the materials that you are reading. You also need someone to keep encouraging you and if you get a very good study partner, you will be very good. Now, the most important thing for me is that my eye was on the prize. Like at the end of the tunnel, there is a very bright light when you get your scores, the joy that comes with it. And also, finally, I know if you get into your desired uh, residency program, there'll be so much joy. So keep your eye on the prize. Um, the reason why you started the whole thing, like don't forget it, don't give up. You will come across people who will discourage you. You will see you. There'll be times that you'll be failing your assessments. Hey, don't give up because we've all been there, been there before. I failed an assessment at, uh, before, like at the beginning of my uh, studies, I failed assessments, and then there were times that um, I'll be getting almost the same scores, and people are getting very high scores. But hey, never give up because we've all uh, been there. Uh, before so just keep pushing every day and keep your eye on the prize at the end of the day um, You will make it so thanks for watching this video uh, if you haven't subscribed yet um, Please subscribe to my channel and share this video with people Let me know what you think about this video in the comment box below. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye